about here today in Long Beach and we've got a special treat for you we've got a, a, a gentleman by the name of Stephen Smith and uh, he has actually been a lender for about 23 years and uh, we've used him several times actually dozens of times and it's nice to be able to sit him down and talk to him a little bit so we're gonna get to know Steve a little bit and what he does uh, Stephen so you have been in the loan industry for about 23 years yes sir. now where did you start out at well, interesting enough, I started out in the state of Texas. I moved from California to Texas for okay. six years, and I got an opportunity to segue into the industry and okay. started out in uh, subprime lending okay. and uh, learned the ropes of, I guess, more of the difficult loans right. before more so than the conventional. What's a subprime loan exactly? Uh, for people, people with some credit challenges or okay. have some. Uh, Things that have happened in the past that hinder right. them from doing a conventional loan. Right. So, so they may get they may get not qualified with the bank, but then you get all of them. Hey, let's run the numbers backwards. Let's look at this. Let's look at that. And right. You'll be able to do it. That's called a subprime loan. Right. But that's okay. that's kind of been replaced more or less by FHA loans now because there's okay. no real subprime market. Well, there's not. Okay. So it's a little, they still now. I had a client the other day, let me just be honest, <laughs> since we're talking about this, and I couldn't get him qualified, but Steve, you started doing like a bank statement loan and a lot, you know, some of these old loans that you thought weren't around anymore, you, you can still do yeah, those. Yeah, we still have outside the box stuff, bank okay. 12 month, 24 month bank statement loans, okay. where uh, they may not show enough income on their tax returns due to okay. the tax deductions to save okay. money with Uncle Sam. We're okay. able to take a look and average out deposits and uh, okay. be able to generate the income on paper needed to qualify. Okay. So you have a lot of different lenders and banks you can go to to yes. send your send this stuff and try to figure out who, who will give you the best right. rate. We can look inside the box and if it's not available, we go outside the box to find okay. a home for it. All right. So you were in Texas doing subprime loans. How, how many years were you doing that? Uh, just a couple and then we got an opportunity to move to Santa Monica, California. Okay. And that's, and that's where I met you. Right. Back and in the day. Launched my career at uh, Washington Mutual Bank, which is no longer around after the crisis. Right. And uh, worked there for uh, five years as one of the top producers and wow. sent on the company trips and whatever. Okay, so you're still doing loans in California? You're doing loans in Texas still? Uh, I've you... done a couple recently, but uh, I'm mainly licensed in California and Arizona now. Okay. But uh, I had the ability within uh, the company to do outside of this, those two states. Oh, I see. But my bread and butter are California and Arizona. California and Arizona. Okay, so also I've heard um, that the, right now the interest rates are the lowest they've been in like 21 months. Is that right? It is, most definitely. We've had a big uh, drop in rates okay. with uh, the tariffs going on with China. Right. Um, and with Mexico, it's caused the stock market to... Dip and Makes the stock market go the, down. Yeah, and the bond yield goes down, and then the rates go down with it. The bond yield so, yeah, goes most down, people, and the rates go down. Yeah, people traditionally, okay. when stock market does poorly, they pull their money out of that and put it in the bond market, which is a more secure place to park your money. Right. And the more bonds sold, the more the yield comes down. Okay. That's my understanding. And then the interest rates come down. Yeah, too. interest rates follow that. Okay. So, so are you getting a lot of refinances right now, and a lot of purchases, or? Both or what? Blend of both. Yeah. Blend of both. I have past clients that I keep uh, getting calls from to refinance to uh, right. refer me clients and right. so forth. When when is the best time for someone to refinance? If it goes down a half a point, a full point, or what? Really depends on how much they owe for it. If they owe okay. nine hundred thousand, and I can drop them a half a point, that saves them. Uh, you know, a full point would save them nine thousand dollars a year in interest, but okay. a half a point would save them four thousand five hundred a year. Okay. But you take four thousand five hundred divided by twelve months, they're saving about three hundred fifty, four hundred bucks a month. Okay. So that makes sense. So it depends on how much they owe, and we do the math: how much it saves them monthly, and what okay. it saves them annually in interest paid. Okay. And if it makes sense, we endorse doing it. If it doesn't, I just let them know that they should probably stay where they're at. Okay, makes sense. All right. Well, anything else you want to share, Stephen Smith, with us? I've uh, been married 25 years to my okay. beautiful wife, Bernadette, oh. and uh, I have an eight and a half year old daughter that we adopted at birth. My, yeah. wife, my wife cut the cord. An incredible little girl, and they're, vi they're visiting here too. I think they're coming up. Hey, there they are now. Come on over and say hi to... <laughs> hey, uh, honey, 
Uh, we're doing a little we're doing a video. Which, you want to come get a hug? Isabella, come here, please. Isabella, come give Dad a hug. How you doing? Is it, go, <laughs> this is Isabella. So, this is Isabella. how old is she? She's eight and a half. How old are you? I'm eight and three quarters. Eight and, eight three, and quarters. three quarters. Get it right, <laughs> man. Don't want eight and a half. I'm sorry. Did you go to Disneyland? Well, not yet, but I'm going to go on Friday. Nice. Hey, all right. All right. Well, this that's Friday. Good. This Friday. <laughs> well, I heard you guys might be going to Disneyland. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for you. Well, nice to finally meet you. I haven't seen you in quite some time. You were just really small when I saw you. So it's not, not often I get to see your dad. And I, you know, a special treat interviewing him and talking about his loan business and then getting to meet his daughter. That is special. Really awesome. So nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. All right. Well, Steve, how can people get a hold of you if they want to refinance? Uh, you know, I've kept the same number for the last 20 years. The best number to reach me is area code 310. 309-9900. Okay, and we'll put that down on the bottom.